So you just landed in a new world in Valheim. What are you going to do now? Well, first of all, you're going to talk to this incessant little bird that wishes you welcome to the world of Valheim. He is pretty handy, but if you don't want him, you can turn him off in settings. You're then going to start picking up a bit of food because you're going to need this if you want to harass the wildlife or not be harassed by the wildlife. Then we're going to start punching some trees. We need a little bit of wood to be able to make the first couple of weapons, which is the club, the hammer and the stone axe. I generally don't make the club, but you're going to need a hammer and you're definitely going to need a stone axe to chop down some trees or fallen trees. This is quite important because you're going to need this to build. This is such a lovely place. I haven't looked at this map. It's completely wild to me and it's so beautiful. And don't forget that if you don't want to be harassed by the Greylings or what I call them Gremlins, just get your torch out. It's really easy. Now I'm going to harass the wildlife for a bit, sneaking up on some deers. Oh, that noise gets me every time. And some boars. Bye bye. Nice meat for me. I also found a place in a nearby area where there is some black forest, so I'll be able to build nearby. I did actually spend about two days running around to find this place. The reason I want to build here is because of this maypole. The maypole gives you extra boosts for your rested experience, which is really, really handy. So I've made a hole and I'm now leveling out the ground. I don't have a pickaxe yet, so it's going to be a little uneven, but that's okay. So now let's put down a workbench and get building a house. Of course, you have to chop lots of wood in the meantime, but that's part of the fun. The house I want to build is really good for resources. It's not too expensive. It's using all basic resources. And of course, I farm them all myself, including running off to chop down trees all the time. This is, of course, part of the game. And this is actually the favorite part of the game for me because it's so primitive and it's so real. I just absolutely love it. We're starting off with this nice square. I'm going to lay a floor inside it and then put some walls and roof on it with a space for the fireplace as well. If you want to know how much this cost, I have absolutely no idea because I didn't count the resources that I got, but I'm guessing around 350 wood, which is quite easily attainable at this time in the game. Watch out so you don't get death by three. Grab your snacks and enjoy the building process, and I will catch up with you later.
the house is starting to come along and I think it looks really cute. If you want more windows, you can of course add that as well. I think two is more than enough and I'd like to stay safe. There's nothing really at this time in the game that can jump through windows, but when you start getting into the mountains, you will be getting uh, raids from drakes and bats, and you probably want to shut those windows. You will get shutters later that you can use though. I always value having lots of storage space, so I've decided that both the back walls are going to have lots of storage. I don't have a lot of wood to make lots of storage right now, but I will fill it up as I go. This is pretty much what I usually do the first couple of days on a new server and I think it's really good representation for what you actually do in the first couple of days of your Valheim experience. Even if you are if you're new or if you are experienced, this is this is pretty much what you do. And this is all the things that you're going to need to start venturing into the more dangerous biomes. It's time to make some clothes. I've been running around without trousers for five days and uh, it is time to end it. Now I will be a little bit less harassed by the wildlife, but I really like this settlement. And usually I would, I would dig a moat and I would build a huge fence. I will probably swap the low fence for a higher fence just because when you start getting into the Black Forest, you will get more difficult raids on your base. But for now, this works just fine. I think this little cabin house is quite cute and it works perfectly with the fires underneath which is quite important. That was everything for this video guys. This is what I do in my first days when I make a new server in Valheim and I hope you found it useful and entertaining. Please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!